Microsoft has completely rebuilt their Edge browser using Chromium source code developed by Google. In this beginner's guide, I'll go over the key features, and near the end of this video, I'll give you my final thoughts. The primary questions I'll answer are, is it better than the previous iteration of Edge? And is it good enough to make the switch from your current browser? The all new Microsoft Edge is available for Windows 7 through 10, Mac OS, iOS, and Android, with support for Linux coming soon. This video will primarily focus on the desktop version of Edge. Let's first take a look at the user interface of Microsoft Edge, which has modern design elements with rounded edges that are similar to the Chrome browser. The tabs and address bar are here at the top, with the Profiles button and Menu here in the upper right. The default new tab page has a search bar, with the quick links to the sites you've added or been to here at the bottom. Of course, the default search engine with Edge is Bing. I'll show you later how to change that. And here at the very bottom, if you click on Personalized News and More, it will jump down the page to your news feed, which can be changed by selecting Personalize and picking your interests. Let's go back to the top. If you click the Settings icon in the upper right, you can change the page layout. The default is Inspirational. Your other choices are Focused, Informational, and Custom lets you toggle on or off, show quick links, and the image of the day. While Edge has its own collection of browser extensions, it does not match the quantity and quality available from the Chrome Web Store. Because Edge is based on Chromium, you can now add Chrome extensions to Edge to enhance its functionality. To enable the use of extensions from the Chrome Web Store, go to the menu in the upper right and click on Extensions. In the new tab that opens, in the lower left, toggle the switch on to allow extensions from other stores. Then click on Allow. With that enabled, you'll be able to install just about any extension in Edge from the Chrome Web Store. A cool feature in Edge is the Immersive Reader that removes ads and other clutter with a warmer background to make an article easier to read. To activate it, on the right of the address bar, click the Immersive Reader icon. In the Text Preference, you can change the size of the text from small all the way to large, and you can also change the color theme used for that page. But what makes this stand out from other browsers is the Read Aloud feature. Here's a quick example. Photos, video, a look inside the new Dixie Brewery in New Orleans East. The new Dixie Brewery, which features a 85,000 square foot brew house, will open this coming Saturday, January 25th. Over here to the right in voice options, you can even change the speed and voice. Their PDF viewer is also better than what is found in most browsers. You could either drag and drop a PDF stored on your computer into Edge, or load one up from the web. If you click the Draw button, it'll let you mark it up, including letting you sign any PDF documents. And when you're done, it lets you print or save with your changes intact. Let's go to Settings by going to the menu in the upper right, and click on Settings. In the left pane, select Privacy and Services. In a surprise move, Microsoft is taking steps to protect your privacy with their tracking prevention. On my laptop, where I've had Edge installed since its release, Balanced, which is recommended, seems to work well. Basic will allow most trackers and block those that Microsoft knows to be harmful. And Strict will give you the most privacy, blocking a majority of trackers, but some websites may not load properly. Below, if you click on Block Trackers, you can see the biggest offenders. In my case, on this computer, that would be Tabula. You'll often see their adverts at the bottom of many news articles that sometimes say, recommended for you. Let's go back to the previous page. Earlier, I mentioned that I would show you how to change the search engine. So let's scroll down the page and go into Services. In this section, click on Address Bar. Other than Bing, your choices are Yahoo, Google, DuckDuckGo, and YouTube. Click on the one you want. In the left pane, click on Appearance. There's not a whole lot you can do here to change the look of Edge. On a positive note, if you'd like to change the theme, your choices are Light, Dark, and the System Default. If you're using Windows 10, is the color scheme selected in the Settings app. I'll switch this one to Dark. Other changes you might want to make on this page include Show Favorites bar, which will appear below the address bar if enabled. Show Home button, which will add it to the left of the address bar. And for those of you that are visually impaired like me, you can change the font size. I'll go with large. 
Is Microsoft Edge a good browser? The short answer is yes, and it's quite a bit better than the previous version of Edge. Let's go through the pros first. It has a clean interface. Chrome extensions can be added to enhance its functionality. It has a dark theme and many useful features, which include the immersive reader, PDF viewer, and tracker prevention. Also, when testing memory usage, comparing Edge to Google's Chrome browser, Edge used on average 12% less RAM than Chrome with no extensions added with six tabs open. So if you're using Chrome, it might be worthwhile for you to switch to Microsoft Edge. Now let's go through the cons with Microsoft Edge and why I won't be switching yet. At this time, Edge lacks many of the features often found in other top-notch browsers. In addition, the very few customization options offered can make it difficult to suit your needs and make it your own. So if you're using another feature-rich browser with tons of customization options, Edge might feel like a downgrade for you, and I would recommend that you don't make the switch to Edge. In time, hopefully Edge will continue to add more features and customization tools that people want. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. In the comments, let me know the features you like and if you plan on using Edge as one of your primary browsers. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with the latest software and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.